on waking up, waking up. And this came to me in listening to Bill and Susan this week. You know, when the, the Buddha became enlightened, somebody saw him and said, what are you? And he said, I'm awake. You know, and it, like so many things for me, at least, you know, I'll say, okay, yeah, I got it. I got it. But when I really try to think about what does that mean, you know, and take a deeper dive, I realize how much I don't know <laughs> and don't understand. Um, so what does that mean to be awake? Does it really only mean like this universal, all-encompassing awareness of the totality of reality? Or is it something that might be a little bit more accessible to somebody like me, you know, just an ordinary being? Are there other, you know, ways to think about it? In the morning, I'm asleep. And then I wake up and I wake up to get my day going, to move into the busyness of the day and getting to work. And often as I think about it, hitting the ground running. <laughs> But in a Buddhist sense, is that what awake is about? Is it just about busyness and the doingness of our days and the planning and scheduling and organizing and accomplishing of our days? Rather, is it about how we experience being awake throughout our day? As Bill and Susan point out, it's about not the extraordinary, but the ordinary moments of waking up to the moments of life, waking up and noticing the experience of life in this moment, just as it is. When we create our holding environment, it's a place from which we can experience being awake. And you know, as I was sitting and listening to the meditation instructions from Bill and Susan and watching my mind wander and bringing it back, I realized, ah, okay. I just had a moment of being awake. So that holding environment is this place from which we can experience being awake. How can I be awake in these moments of my life? It's a noticing of what this is about, what this experience is about. And as Susan so lovingly instructs us, being awake to my body, to checking out what's going on in here. Where's any ease or comfort or crankiness or the aches and pains? How can I be awake to that and just notice the aliveness, not just in what is comfortable, delightful in my body, but also to what is at dis-ease, the more common aches and pains and glitches and clenchings. And how am I being awake to what's going on in my mind and my heart? A couple of days ago, in a sit with a, another sangha, one of my dharma mates said after the meditation, this was really a difficult sit for her. She was aware of her mind going off in all these difficult and challenging directions based on um, a meeting she'd had the night before. And she acknowledged that she quickly became critical of herself and discontent with her practice. And it's so easy to think that that's not being awake. That being awake just means being peaceful, blissful, state of universal awareness and oneness. But as Bill and Susan teach us, it's about being awake to the moment and appreciate 
I'm seeing, I'm sitting, and I perceive and feel the busyness of my mind, and I notice that. I notice my mind going off into its stories, and I notice how that stress and that dukkha, that suffering, lands in my heart. And when I wake up to that, this is what's going on in this moment. That's a moment of awakening. And practicing being able to savor that. Oh, my goodness, I'm awake now. <laughs> wow. Isn't this amazing? That's an ordinary moment of awakening in my life. And we create this holding environment for the space and the safety with which to be awake, to hold that awakeness. We don't have to go back to sleep. When I'm busy at my computer and I look for a moment out the window and I notice the rain and the gray sky and the bare tree limbs, and I really appreciate that for a moment, and I go inside and take a breath and become awake to what my experience in this moment is like, that's a Buddha moment. And creating our holding environment to be that place from which we can have and notice and make much of these Buddha moments of awakening. Where we can be just a bit more awake to what's going on for us in this moment. Creating those conditions of stability, of steadiness of safety, comfort, and ease, where we can be awake to one moment and then the next and then the next. And notice when we've fallen asleep, when we've gotten lost in busyness or our mind has become too casual or drifty. And we come back to this moment and feel into that. Aha, there you are. I'm awake again. Welcome my awakeness. And notice what that is like in the mind, heart, body, breathing. Whatever that is like for you, the open-hearted welcoming, the savoring. Does it bring a sense of ease, of quiet contentment? of clarity, a warmth of heart, a sense of peace, even with what might be painful. You know, those moments when we've had a loss in our life, but we get back into the routine of life, the busyness of life, and we forget for a moment that we've had that loss. But then something comes up and we remember, oh, that hurts. The grief is still there. But we can appreciate that that's being awake to our experience in the moment and hold that kindly and gently from our holding environment with tears or delight or both. <laughs> 